Hello people! As today is December 1st when I bring this uh, episode out, I decided to make something Christmas related. So today we're going to make these candy canes here, that you can see on the screen right now. Um, it's really not hard, but it's uh, you gotta do uh, something unconventional, so yeah, let's hop right into it. Uh, at least this is the easiest method I found. I'm going to enable my screencast keys so you can see what I'm pressing down here. Although we won't be doing so much modeling right now. First thing I'm going to do is delete the default cube and the lamp. And um, now by pressing Shift A, I'm going to import a torus. Where do we find that torus here? I'm going to rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees. Press number pad 1 to get into front orthographic mode. Mm, then we're going to press tab to get into edit mode. Um, now we want to get these uh, this transparency over here. Uh, this button. <laughs> Don't mind me clicking the wrong thing twice. Um, now I'm going to select this and delete the vertices. Select this, press S, Z and 0 as um, I find that these often do not really line up 90 degrees. Now I'm just going to select this row, press E, Z and extrude them to get this shape. I'm just going to get a loop cut by pressing Ctrl R and bevel it once until it's like over here. And uh, yeah, this should be good enough. Um, we can get rid of the transparency and control click or uh, no alt click there press f alt click here press f to fill these in um, face selection mode and control b to bevel this just a little bevel like this will do right click or press w and shade smooth and now uh, let's grab the edge selection tool and what I find to be the best way to do it is to grab the most inside uh, line, so the, the one facing the inside. So alt click that and alt click the faces and press Ctrl and E and then mark seam. We're going to give this UV unwrap. We're not going to texture this, but we're going to need the UV coordinates of this. So press A, U unwrap. Um, now we are going to see that we have this sort of UV map, which does not look really nice. As you can see, it's kind of won uh, wonky and um, not really great. So what we're going to do is get this, press S, L, Y, and 0. Now get this one, S, nope, not that, S, Y, 0. And let's just get, I don't know, this one. S, X, 0 and move it out to where it was approximately S, X, 0 and move it back to where it was approximately now we're going to get that face um, by pressing A enabling this button and um, if I wasn't stupid click that until it's like half transparent with a with a line on the outside that will select this face here. You uh, follow active quads and just press OK. And now everything should be straight. Um, that is good enough. Let's go to shading. As for the shading, we're going to get the standard material. I'm going to call it candy cane. Really gotta control myself to not say sugarcane because that's what it's in German and um, I've been corrected multiple times so now what we're going to do is press ctrl T uh, first click on the principled ctrl T uh, grab that bring it over here we don't need the image texture and now what we want to do is press ctrl A or a shift A search for a uh, what do you call it a, a separate XYZ put the vector into the vector and now you can see that if we shift click this we have uh, this going up 
Um, although it should be the Z component, so let's apply the rotation and the scale. Okay, let's solve the Y for some reason. Play around with it until you get something that um, it goes like up, not to the side. And um, now we need a math node. Um, place it in between here. Set it to modulo. Now you can see that we have like um, these stripes. And we can basically play around with this value to get more and more of these stripes. And um, people that know what I mean or what I want to do will already know what this is going to be. So let's add in the color ramp. And um, yeah, this is not needed right now. Let's get this out of the way. And um, basically the red portions will be this black thing over here. And the white portions will be white. Now you will need to play around with this to get uh, something that you like. Is this red? No, it's white. So maybe decrease that a bit. So something about these lines. I wanted to blend them a little bit. But now as you can see, we have them going around like this. And if that is what you want, feel free to do so. But um, I'm not feeling this. So what I do want to do is rotate it along the... Z, com uh, Z component by 45 degrees and um, now if we were to look at it from the front of the graphic view it looks perfect but on the inside it uh, does have a visible seam which does not look really cool so what we can do to fix this is to go into the UV editing workspace enable shaded view and just scaling not this but this UV, we can, by doing so, line these up until they look like this. And um, the way we're using the UV, um, the reason for using the UVs, maybe I should scale this down just to not get any shading issues. Um, the reason why uh, why we are doing this uh, with UVs is simple. Um, with object coordinates, you cannot really get it to flow like uh, in this 45 degree angle and uh, still wrap itself around this hook. Um, and that is one major limitation. Um, of all the other workspaces, I think you could make it work, but much more complicated. Um, now you could throw on a subsurf here um, if you wanted to look uh, to make it look more smooth. And the really easy thing to do to like um, cheat your way out of um, having these circles be random colors is to simply go in and bring them. Wait, let me just. Um, something like this control plus and scale them down quite a bit scale them to zero actually can I do that just a um, little experiment okay yeah I can but the thing is that I need more so something like this and I want it to be white just move it around and you'll have something white. Um, now for the bottom one, oops, uh, just select this, control plus two times, scale it to zero. Do you want it to be red? Definitely looks like it should be red because there, the majority of it is red. Maybe not. Well, let's make it white. Like this. And you have a candy cane. Which does look good. Um, you could just plug in um, that same shader into a cylinder, let's just 
uh, bring it out a little bit, make it smaller or along every axis but Z, maybe like this. And um, what I find is that if you just stick to this candy cane shader, doesn't look good on its own, like this. Um, so you gotta make it separate material if you want um, this to be applicable to something like this. And I find this to be perfect at an angle of like 10 degrees. And again, it doesn't line up. But what you can do is just simply go into the UV editing workspace and um, make it line up like like so it's really not hard to eyeball it to look perfect I'm not going to bother about, about oh my god I can speak I'm not going to bother about um, this right here so now what we can do is simply copy all of this so let's get this here copy it and now put it into the bump or into the normal socket and add in the bump node like so and add it right here now what we can do is preview this I'm going to make this black and this is going to be not white but something darker like 0.15 and set the scale to something like 10 or maybe even 20 and um, what that will allow us to do is to get some, um, yeah, to get some bumpiness along here. Maybe set this to something lower. Um, hmm. We can play with the angle of it to better match what we have right here. 15 is maybe a bit low. 25. 25 seems to be but right. Um, if I add in an environment texture and HDRI, this is just for preview so you can see what it looks like. Um, I'm going to add this one and we look at it. It really does look good. Um, even in Eevee, uh, of course, you could make it look better in cycles. Um, maybe the strength of this is too high still. Something like this would look better. You can of course make it super shiny, like so. I think that's what I did to make it look wet. Um, maybe if I set this to transparent, yep, I think that is what I went for. Um, and in cycles, it looks even better. So if I w switch to cycles, you can really see it uh, being a lot better in cycles. Of course, you could add more grooves, less grooves, make them uh, more visible, less visible as you please and um, yeah this is what I have for December 1st I think I'll be throwing out a new tutorial every few days because I don't have quite enough ideas to make uh, a whole Christmas series going over 24 days but uh, if you have some ideas as to what I could make um, yeah feel free to put them down in the comments say hi so I know you've uh, watched the video until the end and um, yeah, if you like this, maybe recommend it to a friend or whatever. I hope you will enjoy this and learn something. We will see each other in the next episode. See ya, bye.